Okay, yeah, you've heard the saying mm -hmm. that a man's home is his castle. In Shorewood, <sighs> there's one man who's taken that to the extreme. Yep, when oh. Andre Rudenko couldn't find a tree uh. large enough to construct a fort, well, he just took to building a 3D printer, just like anyone would. And with that, he spit out layers upon layers of concrete to build this 12-foot-tall castle. And as Bill Hudson explains, it's just a small example of things to come. Backyard playhouses are commonplace in Minnesota. Concrete castles, well, not so much. Andre Rodenko is a contractor with a passion for computers and architecture and a mind for invention. Captivated by 3D printers, Andre designed his own. He built an extruder that spits out layers of concrete in whatever pattern he programs. Actually, it's almost the same like a regular printer but much much bigger size to extrude the concrete he had to get the mix just right after the layered walls of the castle were complete pieces of the turrets were printed out and stacked into place and he's dreaming even bigger scaling up the size to yes build something to live in it's not just some days i can print house like in a couple months this king of his own castle is setting sights on the real world. Isn't that pretty? I'll lit up. Now, Andre's getting a, a lot of attention from a lot of interested parties, including, get this, folks at Disney. Right. The Magic Kingdom could well benefit from his 3D extruding technology. You can imagine all the things they could make no. with it down there. It, he's so nonchalant about it. I mean, you have to be really smart, first of all, to do something Incredibly like that. Incredibly smart. He's got <laughs> such a background in engineering and mechanics and in computer-aided uh -huh. design. So, yeah, it's just natural for him, right? Doesn't surprise me. Disney wants to get a hold of that guy. I think the kids could use one of those. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> sure.